Hello everybody, here is Michael Mark. Welcome to my work channel. Today bring you by real life grandma Pu Yi Lan. She is 82 years old. So get to her stories a little bit and you guys can know how hard is her life. She is Chinese, but when 1975, she moved to live in Cambodia, so she spoke no Cambodia. And she only be able to speak her native language is Chinese. In 1975, during the war and the communist took over our country, but they had to evacuate all the people live in the city, go to the countryside to work at the labor job in the right field. It is very hard for her because they speak no Cambodia they not be able to understand anything what is really going on in the country. But I'm not sure how she learned to speak Cambodia, but right now she can speak Cambodia very well. After they sent her to the countryside, work as a labor job, so they all separate her son and her husband from her. She only had one son, and then after that, her son died. And after that, her husband died during that communist regime too, and she lived by herself. She is struggle and so much stress and depressed for her life, especially she speak no Cambodia, so she only can speak Chinese. And then very hard for her life, they send her go to work in the right field. Her history, in 1975, she had a good life because she is the owner of one of the company. She owned some kind of the company, but after the Pop Pop regime, everything just wiped out. It's not belong to her anymore. And after that, she just selling some cake to really to really make her living. Like the Chinese style, they call it jiaquai but I'm not really sure whatever they're calling it, but they call it the Kwai kind of the Chinese favorite, and then they call it the Num Pao, and the Chinese favorite too, and she sold all the kind of the cake for the living. But after she got older, she couldn't make any living. Uh, and then the villager just give her some place to stay, and they just give the food to her every day to survive. And she keep talking, tell us a long story about her life, and then she crying, and she asked for help. If you want to helping her, when you see this video, please share to let everybody see it. And probably uh, some generous people, they want to help donate some money to helping her to send to Cambodia. Please, if you would like to help her, please leave the comment and we will start it from there. You guys stay tuned and keep watching on my channel, my work channel. We'll be showing you everything about the 
people who having the poor life in Cambodia. And we get some donation to send it to Cambodia and put tax and put what work on it. And you can see their activity and who is giving the money to helping those people. And they mention the name in uh, the video too. I'm here in the United States. i working hard the best I can to help my team at Cambodia, so I'm making this video or I go to tell people about the people real life, how hard their life is. And after they see the video, they donate like $5, $10, $20, or more than that, and then I collect the money and send it to Cambodia and who talk and who work the work at Cambodia is my team and they will travel to the place that they need help. Like uh, Grandma Pu Yilang, she is 82 years old and she getting sick and no relatives around got killed by the community and then she have to live by herself and her life so much stress and depressed and struggle and sadness because it's very lonely, you know. Uh, we have life, we have some relative, it's more the, uh, the big reward or special reward for our life, but for her life, it just be alone, it's so sad, it's so lonely, especially she getting old, because like I mentioned about in Cambodia, have no enough food to eat, enough clothes to wear, it's good shelter to stay and good doctor to go because they couldn't even afford for their living, for their food. How can they afford to go to see the doctor? If people get better life, they get enough money to send their family or send their relative to get a health check up see the doctor often or they have some good you know income to spend go to see doctor when they getting sick but right now Putak got some money from donation and then from generous people they send to Cambodia and he gives some to her she's so excited and happy because like she's so uh, lonely, live by herself, nobody cares about her, and Putak really cares about her. She feels so excited and more welcome and more happier for her old age. And you can see her activity, like her action, her behavior. She is so happy and so much thank you to the help. And this is the end of Grandma Pu Yilang. She is 82 years old. And thank you very much for your support. If you would like to help her, please share the video. If you would like to support, please subscribe and click notification bell to receive new video upload to my YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys on the next video. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.